Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your real devices and your virtual devices to one terminal server. Just imagine you're at work and you have like free minute or you have lunch and you would like to do some labs, so you need to open 12 SSH sessions, which does not make sense. Terminal server, you just need to open one SSH station and you're all set. Okay, let's start. First of all, you need uh, a program called serial to net. You do this one. Uh, it's already installed on my box, obviously. Then you need to modify it. So you go to... I'll show you the modified file. It's going to be VLVTC. Okay, you go all the way down and you modify these lines. So, 3001, it's our local port. We're gonna be uh, Telnet localhost 3001 and you would, it would uh, transfer you to device uh, USB 0, 3002 USB 1, etc. Uh, all of this stuff is for like Cisco devices, works perfectly. Okay, so we have this program. Now uh, we need to install uh, tab drivers for Linux. To do that, you just install, I believe it's UML, yeah, this one. You install this program. Then to actually start a tab, tab driver, you do this command. I'll show you. Actually, hold on, before I do that, let me show you my uh, Ethernet ports, what I have so far. Okay, I have zero, it's my built-in motherboard, and 12 uh, my PCI cards. Okay, you don't see any tab drivers, right? This stuff, it's for my uh, VMware stuff, it's... Yeah, it's not from here. Okay, we do... Okay, and you can see the tab tab zero. We just created tab zero. So if you do if config, you would be able to see. Okay, you don't see it because we didn't put any uh, like configurations under this tab. So let's put tab zero. Uh, my like local loopback. I put one twenty eight once uh, with a set bit subnet mask and up okay now we should be able to see it okay here we go our tab zero ip address mask we all said i i picked this ip address because my uh, the my virtual uh, terminal server uses uh, 128.0.0.2 in your net file all you get to do, you go under the terminal server instance, console 2000, and you do FA00 equals NIO tab tab0. Yeah, pay attention because it's kind of a little bit different than this one. You see, it's NIO Linux Ethernet, and here it's NIO tab tab0. Yeah, and make sure your IP tables or your firewall. Uh, you put your tab zero interface as trusted, or just stop it when you play w while you're playing with it. Uh, I spent like 30 minutes yesterday troubleshooting, and it was my firewall issue. Not fun. Okay, I think we're ready to start. I have a script to run Dynamips. It's gonna start everything. Okay, well, it's loading. We, I think we're gonna be able to tell that put to port 2000. It's our terminal uh, server, virtual one. Uh, oops, it's gonna be localhost 2000. Uh, let me. I'll show you what's what we have in run config. Okay, no IP domain lookup. You don't want to obviously spend time if waiting if you're 
made some typo and our host statement so ip host r1 equals 2001 this should be the same as you put in your net file so and our loopback address that we just created it's our tab 0 interface on linux box now you see these four switches these guys are real so and port 3001 it goes to my usb 0 3002 goes to my usb 1 using that program usb to serial and the same loopback address our on linux box address also you need to put uh, okay it's fast is and zero zero you put zero two and IP route default route uh, points to our loopback on Linux box tab zero interface IP address uh, before you start doing anything just try basically ping your tab interface here we have zero two so our Linux is zero one okay we all good so now we can do connect r1 okay we are one control shift 6x connect r2 okay everything works fine let's try to connect to our real switches so the idea was to bundle like virtual devices plus uh, real devices into one terminal server so we, we so sessions okay we have r1 r2 and let's try to connect to real devices switch one yeah as you see there is because i didn't start my switches yet okay they're up let's give it a second connect switch two Okay, let's check switch one. Okay, we're good. It's beautiful. It saves you so much time if you're at work or somewhere in different place and you wanna play with your rack and instead of opening like twelve SSH sessions plus they uh, they will tie them out after some time. Switch two, it's a four. Yeah, you can see it's unbelievable. Yep. As well as our virtual devices. <laughs> you see, when you do show inventor, it's some weird when you do it on virtual device, and I'll show you the difference on real device. Another cool idea is to turn on your switches when you need it remotely. So I was googling some stuff and I think this is the device that we need. It's called iBoot. It's all the same idea. You tell net to this device. It's either cell net or SSH whatever and uh, you just like enable remotely your power strip to your switches so and when you're done with it you just uh, turn it to it again and shut it down in this case it's gonna like save you a lot of energy okay i think it's our switch yep it's real switch i'll show you show inventory you see we have serial numbers everything's here looks like a real device it is a real device Again, uh, when we do show where here, you're gonna see lots of bullshit, but it's real. It's not real, it's virtual device. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.